Rory Talk, Rory Talk, Rory Talk, please introduce yourself for the camera, sir. For sure, Devin White. Devin White, what's up, man? Everything's good, man. Excited to be here. Now, uh, where is Devin White from? Originally from Virginia Beach, uh, then moved to D.C., and now Atlanta. Okay. Now, uh, is that your real name? Yeah, man, that's me. I tried to, I tried to come up with something, but it didn't. <laughs> It is sick. So. so you went on. You went with driver's license name. Yeah, bro. This is the name on your driver's license. That's a that's an interesting statement. I don't have a driver's license. Why not, bro? I honestly never drove. You a damn lie. I never drove. Yeah. So you don't know how to drive? I know how to drive, but I just <laughs> never. I never did it, bro. I never got a. You license never would have got your license. Nah. And the funny thing about it, bro. This is the funniest part. We was in the car before we got here. And Rel says this because the song is called Do It Again and the record is a metaphor about a driving a car. Okay. But but yeah, I don't Okay, all right. So yeah. that's that's very interesting. Never never met a, a, a grown ass adult that don't have a driver's license, but it's okay. Let's talk about this music. Yeah. yeah. Um when did you start doing music? Man, um shit. As far as as long as I could remember, honestly, man, I was um I always wanted to sing. Okay. And then I kind of just got into other spaces and other sides of the of the business, really out of desperation, because I didn't know how to get what I wanted. So I'm like, let me figure okay. out other angles, how to how to move stuff. But yeah. Now, when when was it that you said, okay, I want to do this professionally? Mm, probably probably right out of high school. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, I went to. Uh, uh, Duke Ellington uh, School of Performing Arts in D.C. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I graduated, I just kind of started putting together music. So you you said, I, I, I believe you did say you're from D.C., correct? From Virginia Beach originally. From Virginia Beach. Yeah. So where do you claim? Damn. Uh, what do you claim? Some people say, where you from? Yeah. Uh, it, it, would, it would have to be, it would have to be home. It had to be Virginia. Okay. Yeah. How was it like growing up in Virginia? Like, does that make it was it was small, bro. It okay. was small, but like you know, it has its it has its charm. It has its charm. Okay. And I learned a lot. Good people. So I learned a lot. Okay. So now you currently live in Atlanta. Now I live in Atlanta. What's something dope that you love about Atlanta? Oh man. Um, Besides the fact that there's a studio every, and someone does music every other store. And... Right. Right. Um, I think the mindset, really, okay. the mindset of everybody here, very forward thinking. Yeah. Everybody, most people you meet have some type of goal, but not just a goal, but they got like a game plan of how they want to put it together. Okay. Very vision oriented. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So it's 2022 going to a close. We headed to this fourth quarter. Yeah. Um, what does, what do you have coming up musically? Like, what do we have out now and what yeah. do we have coming up soon? So, so the record that we, we just dropped was called Do It Again. When did um, that come out? September 9th My okay. birthday was the 8th So it came Happy out Happy belated next. That was Thank a you. couple That was last week Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So it came out the next day um, And so With that record It's an R&B record And But I wanted to do Something different with it So I was The way I framed it Was called it Calling it an audio canvas Where the song's Going to continue to change um, Over That's the dope. course Of the release So it won't just be The record as it is now But over the next month Two months There'll be different parts and changes because when I listened to it, I wanted it to be simple um, as far as the structure. But then so many people were like, "Yo, you could do this. You could do this here. You could do that." And um, I'm like, "Yo, that's true." But why can't I do all of it over time? Just like an artist on a canvas, you know what I mean? And they no, have no, a paintbrush yeah. and they want to kind of go back to something and it might go on forever. Um, I felt like the record should live and breathe like that. So, no, that's dope. Now, yeah. uh, what do we have coming? In the future, uh, well, so this this song uh, will be a part of a like an EP called Thirty Three, um, and so it's really just me kind of getting comfortable with myself at this age, who I am, what I bring to the table, you know, um, sonically and just like as an artist. What does Thirty Three mean? Why Thirty Three? Well, I just turned Thirty Three. Got it. Um, you know, and I I guess I guess I feel like at that point in your life is that crossroads where you want to have a strong sense of self. 
you know, and a confidence and a drive and uh and what you're doing and how you're doing it. So Nah, that's dope, man. Nice yeah. to meet you and um I appreciate you pulling up. Now for someone that's just seeing you and hearing you for the first time and then they're going to stop what they're doing and go look you up and yeah. listen to some music, what's a message you can give them or sell yourself right now on camera to why oh, they got to stop listening to Chris Brown and Ooh. Trey Song and Shit. go discover you right now? Man, I think like that's a tough ass and those names and what you just did put me in a tight spot. But I would say that like everybody is themselves in their own way, you know, so the way I create. Um, it is in no comparison to, to anybody else. Uh, okay. But, um, you know, I think it's something there that'll resonate if people give it a chance. That's dope. Man. Well calculated, man. No. Uh, tell them how to follow you. For sure. Social media is Instagram at D E V I N L and then white like the color. Devin White. That don't yeah. know how to drive or don't have a driver's license. I gotta be honest, bro. So wait, before we go, are you ever gonna get one or what? Yeah, I will. See, when I was in DC, thirty three, like, bro. When you gonna do it? I know, right? Shit, I, I made myself feel better because I watched that Quincy Jones documentary and he never drove, so that made me feel better for a little while. But then I was like, yeah, nah. Um, so I'm working on it. All right, cool. Appreciate you pulling up for some Rory talk. For sure.